as a rule based access control allows you to define fine grained access to azure resources while building rules provide broad permissions you may sometimes need a more tailored set of capabilities hello everyone i hope you are all doing well i'm manhar and welcome back to msft webcast in this video we will walk through how to create a custom azure role using the azure portal when building azure role doesn't meet your organization's need you can create custom roles just like built-in roles custom roles can be assigned to users groups and service principals at the management group subscription and resource group scopes custom roles are stored in microsoft entra id and can be shared across all subscriptions within the same directory each directory can have up to 5000 custom roles Custom rules can be created using the Azure portal, Azure PowerShell, Azure CLI or the REST API. In this video, we will use the Azure portal to create a custom Azure role. In the first step, we need to log in to the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. Ensure your account has sufficient privileges to create a custom Azure roles. Choose the scope that you want to create the role. For example, subscription, resource group or a management group. In the Azure portal, under Azure Services, click on Resource Groups. Open the resource group to which you want to assign the custom role. Click on this tab hyphen RG02 Resource Group. Click Access Control from the Navigation panel. On the access control page click add and then select add custom role on the basics tab enter a name for the custom role in the custom role name box ensure the name is unique in your azure tenant in the description box and a description for the custom role there are three ways to start creating a custom role you can clone an existing role start from scratch or start with a json file The easiest way is to find an existing role that includes most of the permissions you need then clone and modify it to fit your scenario. For baseline permissions, select start from scratch. Click next to go to the permissions section. On the permissions tab, specify the permissions for your custom role. Click on add permissions. You can see the list of all available permissions grouped into different categories in a card format. Each category represents a resource provider which is a service that supplies Azure resources. In the search for a permission box, type a string to search for permissions. For example, search for Active Directory to find permissions related to Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Click on Microsoft Azure Active Directory. A list of the management permissions for that resource provider is display. If you are looking for permissions that apply to data plane, select data actions. Otherwise, leave the actions option selected to list permissions that apply to the control plane. Select the permissions you want to add to your custom rule. In this example, I'll select the permission checkbox to select all permissions. Click on add If you want to remove a specific permission, click the trash icon. When ready, click next to continue. Now specify where your custom role is available for assignment, such as management group, subscriptions or resource groups. Depending on how you choose to start, this tab might already list the scope where you open the access control page. In our case, a resource group is already selected. Click on add assignable scopes. Select one or more scopes you want to use typically a subscription or a management group from the drop down menu select resource group add prod rg011 resource group click on select confirm that two resource groups are selected as the scope for this custom azure role click next to continue on this tab you see your custom role formatted in json format if you want you can directly edit the json file To add the JSON, click on Add it. Make changes to the JSON. Let's remove this line. If the JSON is not formatted correctly, you will see a red jagged line with indicator. When finished editing, click on Save. 
we can see the message malformed json let's correct it let me remove this and now click on save and this time we won't get any error click next to continue on the review plus create tab review your custom settings if everything looks good click the create button to create our first custom azure role after a few moments a message box appears indicating a custom role was successfully created let's see the second option on the access control page click on add and then select add custom role enter a name for the custom role in the custom role name box enter description for this custom role select the clone a role option as this time we will clone an existing role and modify it to fit our scenario click on the drop down menu to see the list of azure roles you can clone search for billing from the result select billing reader azure role click next because we cloned a role some permissions are already included apart from these permissions you can also add others to your custom role click on add permissions search for invoice to find permissions related to invoice click on microsoft billing there are lots of permissions select the permission which you want to include in this example i'm going to select the invoice related permission to include select other download invoice checkbox click on add when ready click next to continue click add assignable scopes select one or more scopes you want to use typically a subscription or a management group from the drop down menu select subscription make sure correct subscription is selected click on select let's click on trash icon to remove our resource group confirm that our subscription is selected as a scope for this custom azure role click on review plus create on the review plus create tab review your custom role settings if everything looks good click the create button to create custom azure role after a few moments a message box appears indicating a custom role was successfully created click okay now let's look at the third option to create a custom role click on add and then select add custom role select the start from json option as this time we will directly import a json file to create a custom role open the existing json file for this example i created a sample json file with virtual machine management permissions if you prefer you can specify most of your custom role values in a json file you can open the file in the custom roles editor make additional changes and then create the custom role in the json file specify values for the various properties here's an example with some values added check the assignable scopes field i have added full details about our resource group path this json file will create a custom role that allows users to start restart and deallocate the vm users can also view the public ip and network interface of the vm you can find json file examples on the microsoft documentation website github technet forum and elsewhere on the internet go back to azure portal let's use json file to create a new custom role leave the name and description fields blank next to the select a file box click the folder button to open a dialog box select your json file and then click open azure will validate the uploaded json file first if validation fails you will receive an error we can only proceed if the validation is successful since i added the custom role name and description in the json file the details will populate automatically click next to continue modify the permission as needed in this example we are not going to do that click next to continue make sure correct resource group is selected click next we can see the json file details you can add or remove permission entries from here as well click next on the review plus create tab review your custom role settings if everything looks good click the create button a message box appears indicating a custom role was successfully created click okay so in this example we have created total 3 custom roles let's verify that go to roles tab click on all 
and select the custom rule option from the drop down menu to display only custom rules. You can see the three custom rules we just created. You can assign a custom rule the same way we assigned a built in Azure role in the previous video. You can find the link to the video in the description. That's all for this video on how to create custom Azure roles using the Azure portal. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.